Welcome everybody. We're here obviously right here at Hollywood Studios today. The day before Hurricane Milton shows up and yes, we are here as well. I'm a Disney local. So for me, it's not too bad of a drive to kind of come over here and update you guys. But we'll be talking about today, one, Hurricane Milton for sure. The updated Disney closures in case you are around the area or planning on coming soon. We'll update you and all that. And I really want to get a good look at the park and how it's operating right now. We have two more hours until the park closes. I don't anticipate on staying until 9 p.m. today, but we'll kind of get more of those details and all that once we get inside, but you can kind of tell. It looks a little bit busy over here, so let's go see what's going on. Thank you. All right, so I want to get you guys a good look down the Hollywood Boulevard here. It looks pretty crowded right now. I am using my iPhone currently today. I'm not leaving, or I'm not using the, the big camera or, or Enter 360. I want to do a quick turnaround of all this stuff, so... That's why I'm using my phone and there's a chance of rain in like 30 minutes. So I'm wearing my jacket and my phone's a little bit waterproof. So that's what we're going with today. But take a look at this. Kind of busy it looks like. A lot of people are just down there. I haven't really looked at the wait times or anything. I truly want to be surprised. So I'm going to kind of head down there, see what wait times are. All right, I'm going to be surprised I'm sure with some of these. Ooh, Millennium Falcon t uh, 10, Rise 45. Disney Junior clothes, all the um, shows are closed. Mickey and Minnie's 25, that's not terrible. Uh, what else do I see in here? Tower Terror 20, Toy Story 25, Slinky Dog 45. Okay, I mean, th these aren't terrible. Rock and Roller Coaster is temporarily closed. Let's see what else, if, see if I missed something. Honestly, for how busy the park looks right now, it's not too bad for wait times maybe a lot of people are just kind of out and about just roaming the park or getting ready to leave uh it is a little after seven like i said park closes at 9 p.m two hours left to go maybe we'll, we'll ride a ride or two but i want to go find a quiet spot and talk about hurricane milton and the closures for disney and update you guys on what's going on with that i think i've got just the spot to find a quiet spot i'm gonna head over there by star wars launch bay kind of by Disney Junior because that's closed and not that many people really go to Launch Bay. I did want to point out by the way as well that I'm using a lot of these clips just together. I'm not really editing them a whole lot like I do on our normal videos. So just bear with me, not the best quality kind of video. If you're new to our channel, I encourage you to check out our catalog of videos that we have on our channel. Those are much more better quality, more kind of edited, you, you know, the whole nine. This is just something really quick. Want to update you guys, kind of put it out in the moment, since there's a lot of lot of stuff happening with Hurricane Milton, and uh, I was right with the area here. It's pretty quiet. You do have some people over here just doing photo ops at the uh, Disney Junior, where they meet and greet the characters. Like that's Doc McStuffins over there. So just uh, if you have little ones and you're at, and you're at this park, just kind of showing you that you can kind of come up and. Do your own thing. Take your own pictures. The launch bay is actually closed right now. You can't even you can't even go through that area. All right, this bench works. I had to take my jacket off. I'm sweating. It's pretty humid out here with without any rainfall going on. All right, I'm gonna move spots. I feel like it's more awkward filming in public when there's nobody and one person walks by than there is with like a bunch of people walking by. I don't know if that's just me or if a lot of you guys are kind of like that too, but. I don't know. And I was right by, I realized I was right by like a public bathroom too. So I'm, I'm going to move, I'm going to move spots and then we'll, we'll uh, talk about what's going on. I'm going to go over here by the Little Mermaid area. It is open. So I'm not like doing anything that I'm not supposed to. There are trash cans and stuff down there. So let's, uh, let's chat here real quick. All right. So I'm just going to kind of keep this rolling a little bit. Hurricane Milton. Get rid of my notification on my screen. Um, a lot has changed in the last, what, 24, 48 hours. Um, if you don't know a whole lot of what's going on, essentially Sunday, what's today, Tuesday? Yeah, Sunday, it was a tropical storm. And then overnight, within 24 hours, it ballooned into a category five hurricane, which is the highest uh, hur that a hurricane can be. It's like the most deadliest hurricane. The winds were, don't quote me on this, but like 185 miles per hour plus 
when it was a category five and it's pretty much coming right along to uh, Tampa and the Orlando area. And if you're new to our channel, we live around Walt Disney World. So we're pretty much in the direct path of this hurricane. I just got a notification that the first showing of Fantasmic at eight has been canceled tonight. So I don't know if it's weather related or if it's like something else on technical difficulties. Um, I'll probably look back at that here in a second. But anyways, I digress. Um, I told you guys I was gonna, I was gonna keep a lot of this in unedited, unedited. So for, for all of you guys that don't know, we've been lived here in Florida for about two and a half years now. Hurricane Ian in 2022 was our first hurricane. Uh, and that was also kind of a direct path here in central Florida. Um, so this one I feel like is a little bit more dangerous than Ian was, uh, considering Ian came up from like Southwest Florida, Fort Myers area and had more time inland to weaken this storm is coming by Tampa and it's a less distance inland. It's only like 90 miles or something like that. So it doesn't have a whole lot of time to weaken before it gets to us in central Florida. So currently as it sits now, we're expected to get a category two speeds in central Florida and Orlando. And that's a little bit scary. Um, I'm from the Chicagoland area. Like I said, lived here in Florida for two years. And being a northerner or from the outside, there's really not a lot of focus on like major hurricanes, hurricanes or storms that brew here in the Gulf or the Caribbean. So now that I live here now and it hits more to home, there's a lot more focus on it and people are freaking out around here. Let me tell you, I'm a little bit one of, I'm, I'm one of those a little bit. We did do some storm prep. We filled up both of our cars with gas cleared out our furniture in our at our house and so the only thing we really didn't do is board up our windows I don't think we need to Florida does a good job building code wise putting um, hurricane proof windows not proof but up to a certain speed hurricane windows our house was built in 2012 and from what I understand 20 2004 when Hurricane Charlie hit, Florida redid all of its building code. So we have a more recent house. So I'm not too, too worried about, about windows or damage like that flooding. Um, but 90 miles per hour, 100 mile per hour winds is still nothing to mess with. And it makes me a little on edge. And like I said, there's a lot of chatter from the locals around here that don't really experience something like this too often in central florida all right so i want to make sure i'm giving you guys the most up-to-date information or the correct information i should say so i want to look it up as i'm telling it to you so today to today is tuesday october 8th walt disney world announced tuesday afternoon that it would close its theme parks and disney springs in phases starting on wednesday october 9th which is tomorrow more than likely when this video you're watching right now is posted uh, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, Disney will shut down Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom first. Then at 2 p.m., Disney will close Magic Kingdom and Epcot and nearby Disney Springs. Walt, Walt Disney World Transportation will also halt service following the theme park and Disney Springs closure. So the theme parks will, will close, people will leave, and then maybe an hour or two after all that is said and done, Transportation will stop, buses will stop, Skyliner will stop. So if you're around the area, make sure you follow those closure times. So with all that said, this is the first time Disney is closing its park since Hurricane Nicole in November of 2022. So it doesn't happen often. And as you all know, COVID had a lengthy closure here at Walt Disney World as well too. Uh, so kind of unprecedented time. State of emergency was issued over this past weekend for the for Florida for like something crazy like majority of Florida's counties are in a state of emergency. So this storm is, is really impacting like the entirety of Florida. So I kind of wanted to go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It was listed as a 35 minute wait, but take a look at this. Look at all the people in this queue. And it is starting to rain a little bit. Clouds are getting a little dark over here. And I don't really want to sit outside waiting in a queue when it's raining. You know, you know, I think I just thought I'm going to walk the entirety of the park. I'll probably head to Toy Story Land now and see what that is. I just looked on the My Disney Experience app and it went up to a 50. So that's kind of hard to hard to believe, but let, let's let's head there now. Let's let's head to Toy Story Land and take a look.
I don't know you guys, comment down below if any of you guys have experienced a hurricane or if you've been on Disney property during a tropical storm or hurricane like many of the people that are here now are. Um, for the most part today, there's not too many. It's been dry, it's not windy, it's the calm before the storm. Uh, so a lot of people are trying to get out probably now while they can and enjoy their, their vacation. I must be talking loud or something. I got a lot of people staring at me. So as we head on over here to Toy Story Land, um, I really only had two options tonight. I'll tell you why I picked Hollywood Studios as my park for today. One, there's a Mickey's um, Not So Scary Halloween party tonight. So Magic Kingdom closed at six. I worked today, so I wasn't able to make it in time. Two, um, Animal Kingdom is closed already. They close early, just kind of like Magic Kingdom did today. And then my next point, so I only had um, Hollywood Studios and Epcot as my choices. And um, I feel like there's better rides to kind of base how the crowds are here at Hollywood Studios than there are at Epcot. And um, and uh, if, if, if I show you that Nemo at Epcot's a five minute wait, like it's usually a five minute wait, so nothing really changes there. But oh my God, look at all the people. I mean, I, I, this is kind of a bottleneck area at um, Toy Story Land. But there's a lot of people still. A day before a major hurricane is coming. And I think we're gonna take the time to look at Slinky Dog. I feel like I'm live streaming right now. Like just doing like one long continuous shot. Anyways, let's go take a look at the wait times. This is kind of a perfect summary. It is 721 right now. It is a 30 minute wait for Toy Story Mania. I am not gonna lie, I thought it would be way less crowded today. Granted, like I said before, the weather hasn't been too bad here in Central Florida today. Tomorrow's gonna be a different story and really the impact here in Central Florida is going to be like early Thursday a.m., like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and will last maybe until 8, 9, 10 a.m. on Thursday. That conditions will kind of like settle down a little bit there. All right, Slinky Dog, 7.23. I don't know if you can tell, it is a 55 minute wait. And while we're over here, we might as well uh, take a look. Believe it or not, that is something I have not done yet. Is right, Slinky Dog at nighttime. I hear it's I hear it's a lot better at nighttime, and it looks great than it does during the daytime. Haven't done it yet. On a bucket list, though. I don't know. There's I don't know. I'm I keep on saying it, but I'm kind of surprised at the amount of people that are here still right now. We're gonna take a look at Swirling Saucer, see what that wait time is, and then uh, maybe we'll head into uh, Galaxy's Edge. Check those wait times too. Swirling Saucer is a whopping 10 minute wait. Not too bad. I just rode this ride with my daughter Olivia on our last vlog. Check that video out if you have not seen it yet. In that video, the one right before this one, we were talking about how Howard Studios might not be the best if, you have, uh, if you're a family with young kids. We kind of go through all the details. Only rode one ride, that was it. But we go through, like I said, all the details, all the reasoning in that video. So check it out if you're interested. But boy, do I love Galaxy's Edge at nighttime. It just hits differently, you know, all the lighting effects. I don't know, you really feel, in my opinion, more immersed in this land at nighttime. Let us know below if I have any Star Wars fans on our channel. My family, personally, we're not the biggest Star Wars fans. And I haven't really seen, I haven't seen all the movies yet, if I'm being honest. but I can certainly enjoy what Disney has done with this uh, section of Hollywood Studios. It's pretty amazing. And speak about pretty amazing and attention to detail. Look at the Millennium Falcon. Oh, there's a photo pass photographer. I don't want to get in the background of her photo. Oh, this is just that, kind of speechless, honestly. Like, if you hear, if you, I can't imagine if you're like a big, big Star Wars fan and you come here for the very first time, like this, you must be like in awe 
I'm in awe right now, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but... You know what? Let me head back down. I just realized I didn't show you guys what the wait time was for Millennium Falcon. And keep this rolling. The single rider line is still going. It is 7.30, and standby is only a 10-minute wait. Is single rider open? Yep. Uh, party to be split up. We'll okay. Thank you. All right, so it might as well. Might as well go on. It's a 10-minute wait. More than likely, we're probably going to be engineer on this. And that's okay because we just get to push buttons and can enjoy the ride. I'm going to go this way. I, I, I always forget that it splits. You can go left or right. But for us right now, like I said, it's going to be a walk-on. It's called to fly down. Only one gunner. Weapons are online. Sunset Boulevard to go look at um, Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster. So that'll be our next uh, plan of action here. So let's, let's head over there and then we'll kind of maybe head out of the park. For the record, everybody, I'm really not trying to be that guy that is like, oh my God, state of emergency, Disney's closing, blah, 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 blah. I'm really just kind of giving you my two cents, my experience here the day before uh, Hurricane Milton makes landfall here in Florida. And for the most part, it seems like a regular park evening. I mean, as we're walking out of Galaxy's Edge, it really feels like just a regular park day. It, it, it really does. It just feels like it just rained and people are coming back outside or back out of hiding or off the rides or something. You know, it just, it has that feel to it. It doesn't feel like the park's empty, at least here at Hollywood Studios. There's, there's a lot happening. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, you do get some rainfall. It's like misting. It's it, it's that misting light rain right now. It's not really pouring at all. And let's see, 7.49 right now. I don't know if you can read that. And Rise is a 35 minute wait. Don't know if you can read that. Using my phone so it's not the best to focus with. Come on. Here we go. I need to take my jacket off again. It, it is humid. This is a good raincoat, not really a good, like, breathable coat, if that makes any sense. But yeah, as we head on over to Sunset Boulevard, let me know what your thoughts are on Hurricane Milton. Do you guys have friends or family that live down here? Are you down here? Do you live down here? Just curious to know uh, what kind of reach our channel has and if, you know, just, just 
I, I know it doesn't impact just me. I know there's tons of people out there that are impacted by this, whether you're impacted directly or like I, or like you know somebody. So it's good to have a little uh, community in times of crisis. And then in regards to us, my family, it's currently just my wife and I and our two daughters. If you're familiar with our channel, you'll know who that is. Um, we don't have any family cur like around the central Florida area. That should be changing here relatively soon. Maybe I'll update you guys on that in a video at a later time. But for the most part, it's just us. So it'll be, we'll be hunkering down um, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and really kind of seeing how everything unfolds. And like I said, 80 to 100 mile per hour winds here in Central Florida is not something to take lightly, even though Florida does a really good job of preparing for hurricanes and whatnot, but it's still something you don't go through every day, so it's scary. In all honesty, I'm more worried about like trees falling and branches and things like that. Um, I'm assuming I might have like some screen repairs to our enclosure. Most of the furniture and our neighbors really did a good job of removing all the furniture, so I'm not too, too worried about like debris flying into our house or things like that, but it's Florida, it's a hurricane, major hurricane at that. Anything can really happen. Not too worried about our house flooding, the master plan community so lots of retention ponds all the houses are elevated a little bit uh things are sloped properly so knock on wood that that's the case for this storm i'm just gonna start going again like i feel like i'm live streaming probably be a longer shot but i want you guys to get a good glimpse oh look at those princesses over there want to get a good glimpse feel for the park day before a major hurricane hits florida dying down a little bit at least in this area than it was earlier in the day when i got here what time is it 7 55 right now so about a little over an hour until um the park closes for the day and then it'll close uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m 1 p.m look at down that way not too much going on down there by indiana jones got some people over there Uh, Sunset Boulevard might be busy because they might have a second showing of Phantasmic since the first one was canceled. We'll go take a look at that too and see. But I just want to go down, show you guys the wait times, and then figure it out from there. Oh yeah, Sunset Boulevard right now definitely does look a little bit crowded. A lot of people walking out though, so I don't know what that means yet. I don't know, I'm going to be cheesy right now, but can we get a thumbs up for Sunset Boulevard on this video? It's a classic, it's a park icon, Tower Terror. It does look like the second showing in Fantasmic, uh, maybe not, maybe not. The ropes are uh, blocked over there for the entrance of Fantasmic, so maybe it's canceled all, all tonight. Trying to get a better look for you guys. Again, just keeping this rolling, keeping it rolling. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you heard that. He said it's just been canceled. I still honestly can't believe these wait times. Tower Terror. Day before a major hurricane. Hour until park close. 45 minute wait. I think that's crazy. I think that's crazy. And let's go take a look at Rock and Roller Coaster and see what that is if it's still down. Drum roll please. Da, 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 da. It is up. And it has a long wait time. Let me get closer, I'll show you guys. All right, eight o'clock, 65 minute wait time. Focus, focus. That's the bad thing about this iPhone. Come on. Oh, you guys gotta believe me, 65 minutes. You know, vlogging on my iPhone brings me back a little bit to when we started this channel. If you've been around for the first few months or within our first year of YouTube, comment down below. We appreciate you guys. You're the reason why we're still going now, and we're gonna keep going. So thank you for the support. We appreciate you. Sorry for the bad lighting, everybody. Uh, back in my car right now. Um, try to keep everything positive. My uh, my experience, my thoughts from today at Hollywood Studios, the day before Hurricane Milton um, is supposed to make landfall, or around the time it makes landfall here in Florida. Um, Hurricane Milton's a real storm real danger can occur disney is closing their parks and walt disney world 
they're keeping the hotels open for guests that are stuck here during this time. Um, but people, it's real results. People can lose their house, um, lose everything that they have. Uh, it's not something to take lightly. It is a serious storm that intensified quickly, very quickly. Um, so while I think for the most part, we'll be okay in central Florida, it's not every day, every decade that category two rips through central Florida. Um, usually we get a tropical storm or at the most a tropical or a category one, if it's a real bad storm by the time it makes it here. Just from the proximity from Tampa, it's pretty close, cat two. Um, for the most part, I think we'll be okay. I think the house will be okay. Maybe a rip screen here or there. Uh, there'll definitely be some trees down and damage. Uh, maybe we'll update you guys in a separate video after this is all said and done. But uh, from Hollywood Studios, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Um, shout out to everybody in the path of Hurricane Milton um, with you guys. It is, it, we gotta ride this thing out. It's, it's definitely scary. Uh, it's definitely scary. Um, so please, if you have family, friends, please reach out to them. Let them know you're thinking of them. And, um, yeah, we have something planned on Saturday this weekend for our regular vlog. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're doing, we're, we're touring some stuff. So hint, hint. But thank you guys for watching. Two runs ago, a little bit of a tick down to the south. One run ago, you saw the drop right there. And then right now another tick off towards the south. So again, the farther north you go, the impacts are still there, but they're not as strong as they were 24 hours ago. 